Hello creators, so I get a lot of questions from people asking me what plugin I use for my videos. They're asking me like, hi, hi, Bennett, where do you get your titles from? What visual effects do you use? And I know as a dedicated Final Cut Pro X user, there are many plugins available out there. I will be showing you my top five plugins that I think are really awesome and will help expand your editing capabilities. By the way, I will mention all the plugins in the video description below if you wanna check that out. Are you ready for that? Starting with number five is Modern Titles Pack for Final Cut Pro X. Now, when I started out, I didn't want to spend money on title plugins. I decided to do the text animation by myself using After Effects. So the first title animation I created looked like this. Not bad, right? But in order to create that, I had to watch a couple of tutorials online and it took me like three hours to create. Now, if I had to create every animated title by myself, it would take me forever. So I soon realized that investing in a pack with animated text layout would make a lot more sense. So I came across the titles pack for Final Cut Pro X. So with this plugin, creating text-based video has become really easy for me and gives my videos a professional look. This title pack is really affordable and costs 17 bucks if you're getting the regular license. You will get 40 animated layouts that are customizable. And the great part is that you will get all the updates for free, meaning that they sometimes add new titles over time. For me, a really great solution for having elegant titles that are easy to work with. So go check it out. Moving on to number four is Footage Crate. This isn't really a plugin, but what I really like about their service is that they provide production ready assets for the video making community, whether it's music, graphics, or visual effects, and around one third of their assets are free to use. What, free stuff? If you want to get the pro version though, it will cost you 50 bucks a year, which grants you full access at all items with a download limit of 50 items per day. Now I have been working with the resources for a long time and I still use them today. I used it for the anime fight that I did a long time ago for the door explosion scene in the hacker video and for my recent video shooting hyperlapse with an iPhone and many more. Now you do need a little bit of experience to blend in those visual effects, but luckily they do have a bunch of tutorials online with a step-by-step -step guide. It's funny because many people ask me if I use After Effects. Well, now you know your mother edits my videos. Production Crate constantly adds new professional assets to their library. La la la. They constantly add new professional assets to their library in HD and 4K formats. For me, a really great great solution not having to work with After Effects. For my third plugin, I use Color Finale as my color grading tool. Now I did an in-depth review about it a couple of weeks ago. If you want to check that out, there will be a link up here. Color Finale is a really great tool that offers a lot of features which you won't have with the standard color tool provided in Final Cut Pro X. For me, the biggest selling point is that you can export your own LUTs and use them in different projects. I also use this method to sell LUTs on my website, which I don't make a dollar from. Well, that's not true. My brother actually purchased one, so thanks. Another great feature I like is that you can create masks and make it track the subject. This can be very useful if the subject is moving a lot. The standard color tool in Final Cut Pro X is still very powerful and I use it in combination with Color Finale. Personally, it helps me speed up my workflow, making it easier and faster to color grade my footage. For my number two plugin on the list, I have MHUD3 by Motion BFX. Now, if you don't know who they are, Motion BFX produces top quality plugins and templates for Final Cut Pro X and Apple Motion users. I would say they have the best plugin and template resource available. They have a lot of plugins that can be installed and accessed easily. Now let's focus more on using the MHUD3. Now this stunning plugin allows me to create HUD elements that you can add to your footage. 
If you watched my videos, then you know that I used it for the hacker video, which helped enhance the story. And as you can see, the results were really great and I got a lot of positive responses from it. What really amazes me is that it has a built-in tracker that tracks the subject with not much effort. The interface and controls are really user-friendly and you have a variety of customization options. This plugin doesn't come cheap and costs around 99 bucks. You can download the demo version if you want to test it out. But overall, I'm super happy with this awesome plugin. Looks really cool and I will definitely use it for my next Hacker 2 video maybe. For my number one plugin is the M Callout High Tech, also created by the same company. For 89 bucks, you will get 30 modern looking callouts. I use this for all of my tech reviews because it gives it a professional look to it. In my reviews, I often have to name the items and can easily do that by dragging the title layer on top of the footage and add the text in the layout. You can change different parameters to make it look the way you want it to and also comes with a built-in tracker that will connect the text to the object which gives it a really cool look and stylized effect. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of plugin you use for your videos. Remember to follow me on Instagram and subscribe to my channel so that I can keep creating videos for you guys. We are soon reaching 2000 subscribers and I think I will do a special video for it because 2000 subscribers is insane guys. I'm really happy and super excited to see where this channel will be going. If you have any questions, feel free to comment or send me a message. I will happily answer them. Now, if you want to know more about video editing, I got two videos right here that you can check out that will certainly help with your editing workflow. So make sure to click one of these. All right, guys, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care, guys.